Jerusalem, a vision of serenity. But the war goes on, and in between the battles, walls of hostility. Two peoples with a different story to tell, Palestinians and Israelis, each fortified in its own memories, each with its own images. How important are the photos to the survival of one story? How do they determine a way an event is remembered? Everyone's taking photos today. If there's no photo, it didn't happen. Sixty years ago, there were few to witness and take photos of the battle for Jerusalem. Five days after the foundation of the State of Israel in 1948, the battle for the Jewish quarter escalated. Outside the walls, the Israelis had the upper hand. Within the walls, the Israelis were fighting large Jordanian forces. The battle lasted ten days and nights, with heavy Jordanian artillery fire. The Israelis surrendered and the old city passed into the hands of the Jordanians. In 1967, there was another battle, and today the old city is under Israeli rule. The only photographs of the battle, published in 1948, were by war photographer John Phillips. He documented the Israeli defeat in the old city stage by stage, right up to the evacuation of 3,000 Jewish residents to the Israeli zone of Jerusalem. At the same time, tens of thousands of Palestinians living outside the walls became refugees. Each side with its losses, its dead. Readers of the World Press saw John Phillips' photographs of Palestinians looting Jewish property. This is how Israelis still remember the Battle of Jerusalem in 1948. The Jews turned refugees, the Palestinians looting their possessions. This photo of the little Jewish girl was seen all over the world. There were other little girls, and there must have been other photographs. No Jewish photographer could have shot the pictures I did. Being a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant was no help either. Conditions were such that anyone with a camera was considered a Jewish spy and promptly set upon. I managed to get the pictures only because I was in the uniform of the Arab Legion on the 14th of May 1948 when I joined the Legion on the way to Jerusalem. Pink bromeliad bloomed in an old gasoline can on the window ledge. From behind it, two Arab irregulars fired away. A third jammed a fresh clip into his rifle. The Jews must have at least 50 synagogues and every one is a fortress, one of them said. It must have been May the 19th that I became aware of the Arab legion in full battle dress streaming into the old city. The Jordanians were highly trained and fully equipped. For ten days and nights, the battle raged. On May the 28th, the Israelis surrendered. Here comes Mayor Weingarten, a legionnaire announced, heralding the arrival of the spokesman for the Jewish community in the old city. To my surprise, the legionnaire held Weingarten's right hand in a friendly gesture. At a quarter to four, Mayor Weingarten and Major Abdullah Tal set out to Zion Gate, where the surrender was now to be signed. The Israeli signatories were Mayor Weingarten and Moshe Rosnak, the Israeli commander. While the Jewish officer signed, Musa al Husseini, the representative of the Palestinians in the old city, looked on condescendingly. I glanced at my watch. It was exactly 4.36 p.m. on May the 28th, 1948. The victor, Major Abdallah Tal, contemplating the Golden Dome at his headquarters before entering the Jewish quarter. The vanquished, the Jewish inhabitants awaiting their fate during the brief lull between the surrender and its aftermath. 
John Phillips kept taking photos even after the Jewish quarter capitulated. He managed to get the images outside the Middle East. This is how the world had evidence of the hours following the Jewish surrender. In John Phillips New York studio, there are thousands of photos accumulated over many years as a war photographer. In 1996, he left his collection to his step-grandson, Andrea Caron. This is my grandmother's handiwork right here. This is not something John would have done. Get them all nicely bound in Italy. <laughs> 1948. Arabs sacked the holy city. Muslim censors tried for a fortnight to keep the news from leaking out. But last month, these uncensored photographs by life's photographer John Phillips reached New York and told the story. Once the looting started and there was an uncertainty about who was who and what was what, of course, he <laughs> uh, became nervous about being dressed in an Arab uniform at that point. He did not take photos of Palestinian refugees? Of mm, not that I know of. He just took these. I, mean, I don't know if this is, he always said that, you know, back then in the days of the photographs, he always said, you know, modern photographers, they just like go chick, 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 chick. They take millions of photographs. Anybody can do that. Back then, you know, we only took photographs when we knew we were taking photographs of something important. We didn't just take photographs of everything. And he always said, you know, I could, <clears throat> if you can't do it in one roll of film, then you can't do it at all. So, you know, I think that his assignment was this, and he did what, what interested in him, and he made a very powerful, powerful story. John Phillips was born in Algiers to British parents. He studies photography in France and becomes one of the world's first photojournalists. During the Second World War, John Phillips follows the Allied forces throughout Europe and the Middle East. There, apart from taking photos, he also makes friends in high places, King Abdullah of Jordan amongst them. Then, in December 1947, an event changes his life. John is in Rome in December of 1947. He was in Italy. He was photographing actresses and fancy things. And he happens upon the demonstration in December of the Jews demonstrating um, in favor of the partition and the creation of the state of Israel. Under this arch that Titus had built to glorify the Roman victory over the Jews 2,000 years ago, now stood thousands of Jews demonstrating for the creation of a Jewish state. What a triumph of faith, I thought. And he's uh, struck very much by the idea that the Jews back in Rome, the Arch of Titus, are demonstrating for the creation of a Jewish state again. And he decides that he is going to cover this very important story. And I guess he got to go ahead, so he, uh, he ends up... Um, with the Arab Legion in Palestine. John becomes an ardent supporter of the Jews' right to their own state in Palestine. While wearing the uniform of the victorious Jordanian Legion, his camera documents the fate of the vanquished Jews. The Israeli fighters were drawn up in loose formation on the square. They wore the vacant look of men who had been under constant fire and had slept little. The Jewish civilians gathered up their belongings and trudged off to the square. It was strange photographing a people who were being uprooted once again. The first wave of refugees reached Zion Gate, borderline between the old and new Jerusalem. Once through the gate, they would be in Israeli territory. Few looked back. One wistful boy did, a 
the frightened girl screamed. I walked back to the street of the Jews. Arab civilians, in defiance of Major Tull's curfew, had come like a swarm of locusts to loot. A proud Muslim led the way, followed by his wife carrying scrolls from a nearby synagogue. His daughter was balancing a carton of matzahs on her head. Distracted by the speed with which the quarter was being destroyed, I almost missed the terrified girl running down the street. In her terror, she bared her teeth like a trapped animal. The ground floor of a building had been converted into a makeshift hospital. A round loaf of bread had been left on the mattress beside a wounded man who must have died soon afterward. On May the 29th, the Jewish quarter was a charred and burnt-out shell. Five years after the Battle of Jerusalem, John Phillips' photographs come to life in the film Hill 24 Doesn't Answer, the first Israeli feature financed by the owners of Marks and Spencer. It was shot at the height of the austerity years. It was the first and last film produced by Jack Padua. The 92-year-old is looking for his forgotten film in the Jerusalem archive. Soldiers of Israel, you stand before the walls of Jerusalem. For 1,878 years, these walls have been waiting for you. Tonight, you will mount them. At midnight, we shall break through the Zion Gate into the old city. It was Jack Padua's version of Israel's birth of a nation. The few against the many. Boy soldiers carrying the fate of a nation on their young shoulders. Arabs, even as enemies, barely registered. They are short of food, water, and ammunition. This was real. This was. Uh, that's why I say this part of the film ought to be shown today to every single child in school. They still think we were given to them on a silver plate. The plot was inspired by Jack's own life story. A British Jew, he comes to Palestine as an intelligence officer in His Majesty's forces. He begins passing information to the anti-British Jewish undergrounds. All right, you can go. Da. See where he goes, Finnegan. Pick him up as soon as curfew starts and anyone you find with him. Yes, sir. He falls in love with a local Jewish girl and marries her. The film's hero returns to Israel, having done his time in the British Army. He joins the Israeli army and takes part in the 1948 battle for Jerusalem. The real Jack Padua didn't take part in the battle, but he returned to Israel after the 1948 war to produce the film. There's a lovely moment where uh, one of our soldiers hears somebody coming round the corner and he thinks it's an Arab and he gets ready to shoot and then... You'll see it in a second. 
any little thing we did was a pioneering. It was never done before. We had to shoot in the old city of Acre. Obviously, we couldn't do anything in Jerusalem. It wasn't in our hands. All the explosions, all the battle scenes, the equipment, the artillery, everything was supplied by the Israeli army. Get back! We have surrendered. But and then you see this awful scene where the Arabs suddenly come in. Look, it's uh, watered. This is really quite, even today, I'm impressed. Watch, watch this. The Arabs. We purposely chose Arabs not to look too terrible, you know, we didn't want to overdo it. And this is the scene showing an Arab looting possessions, which the Jewish refugees left behind. I must tell you, nobody enjoyed the shooting of all this, of these scenes. It was too near the actual truth. And look at the faces that we found. Look at the, and the people we managed to get together. People were crying like babies. This is exactly as it was. Little has changed in the last 60 years. As if to prove it, he flies to Jerusalem accompanied by his son. Amazing, huh, Papa? Incredible. Papa, the old city. We don't deserve to have this. Why, can you explain? My dear Alex, do you know the number of youngsters who have never been to the old city? I've been to Jerusalem for perhaps a couple of hours. They know nothing. They don't know anything about the history, the present history, the past history. It's a scandal. I'll ask you an annoying question. The, the, the answer will be more annoying. Well, an annoying question. For, uh, and a cliche question, for a real piece, but I mean real, what would you give? I'd give Tel Aviv. Look, it is so absolutely unlikely that you cannot, I mean, you can't even begin to invest. Why? It. Why? Why is it unlikely? They want us out completely. Only the fanatics, only a few very, only very fanatics. noisy, noisy politicians, Papa. 99% of them are fanatics. Okay, shortly now, I'm, I'm going to do circling to the right, so you can see the Dome of the Rock, there's the Temple Mount, and just beyond Mount of Olives is a security fence, which separates us from our Palestinian cousins.
Jaffa Gate in the old city, the gate into the Muslim quarter. The Za'aro family has been running a photo studio since the 1930s. This is studio, Studio Zeki Abu Za'aroor. The photographer is Ali Za'aroor the only Palestinian who took photos of the battle over the old city in 1948. His son, Zaki, shows the images still in the family's possession for the very first time. اليوم بخبيهم هون بكره غاد دائما محافظ عليهم زي ما بحافظ على ابني Sixty years after that battle, the photos have never seen the light of day. Ali, named after his grandfather, spent hours scanning these photos. Same city, same battle. A Jordanian armored car facing Zion Gate. John Phillips' photo, taken a few hours earlier, shows the Jewish refugees passing through the same gate to the Israeli zone. Dome of the Rock. Victory celebration. At the center is Musa al Husseini, signatory of the surrender. And there is more. Ana li awal marra baqad ana uladi bishofu al miswadat hadi. Awal marra. Uladi bi'arafu anu fi miswadat, bas bi'arafu shi hi al miswadat. Hadi sura fi harat al yahud. Hadi 48. November 8, November 46. Aywa. هذا أبوي علي سارور اشتغل مع الجيش الإنجليزي مصور للأسشيات بريس وبعدها عاود رجع لبس جيش أردني الضباط الأردنيين والضباط الإنجليز Some of Ali Zaharo photos are almost identical to those John Phillips made. Zaki has trouble identifying them. Number eight, His father wrote notes for each photo, but they've disappeared. كانت مذبحة كبيرة وقتها شو هذا؟ زي ما مهاجري فلسطينية أو يهود أعتقد فلسطينية هذول فلسطينية مهاجرين هذه جهة ما دلوه عرب كله عرب هاي هذول يرحلوا فلسطينية شاردين من بيوتهم كراهم اتدمرت بهربوا أكثرهم أجوا على منطقة القدس اللي هو يعني حيوانات مقتولة هذا كله لاجئين شردوا من دورهم من بيوتهم وكراهم لمنطقتنا هذه المنطقة جهة رام الله وجهة القدس شوف كيف كانت على الأرض دمرتها إسرائيل ما خلوش ولا إشي أجوا ثاني يوم الصبح لكوا كله ما في ولا بيت ولا إشي طلع أيوه نكبة the Palestinian catastrophe, documented by Ali Zaharora's camera. فكانوا سو هيك في الثمانية وأربعين. كانوا كلوا. العزرية أنتوا اطلعوا معكم ربع ساعة تروحوا تطلعوا طب فيش وقت الواحد يطلع يأخذ عفشه 
فاللي يهرب يهرب واللي يموت يموت في الارض هذا هذا لا هذا ابوي هذا ابوي هذه هي الكاميرا سبي ذكرى مكتبها هذا ابوي هاو الشعر تبعه شعره هذا هو ابوي كان عندي البوم اللي انا يعني زعلان عليه لانه كان كل صوره لها نمره معينه وكل صورة تفصيلها وتاريخها وشو حادثتها ولكن في السبعة وستين حرب السبعة وستين البيت أن انسرق ولكن اللي سرق سرق الألبوم مع المسودات أكثر من هيك أولادي بيعرفوا أنه في مسودات فالأيزرية القديمة هلا منطقة آفار بيت زعرور الأصلي بين الكنيسة والجامع في بيت صغير هيو مهدوم هذا البيت اللي انولد فيه أبوي الله يرحمه كل يوم الصبح يطلع من هون يمشي على الطور وعلى القدس مشي بالنسبة إلي ولا أخوتي ولا أبوي إحنا أولاد القدس إحنا بدون القدس زي سمك بدون مي إحنا بدون القدس ولا يمكن إنه نعيش إنه إحنا في سجن ولكن بس وسيع شوي أما كمان شوي بس يسكروا بالمرة بصير في سجن مسكر خلاص أبوي كان في بستان يعني بستان مظبوط مشهور جدا كان البستان الحجار تبع البستان كله كناني ويسكي اه بدال الحجار يساوي البستان سواء من كناني ويسكي في الليل تشوف أزرق وأحمر وأخضر من أمي تحب البستان كثير كانت تدير بالها جميع أنواع الورد تفاح فواكه ورد أما كان مظبوط بستان معروف في العزرية كلها الصور هذول فيش حدا عنده زيهم وهو بيعرف هذا الإشي كانوا كل ولا واحد عنده زي هذول الصور دائما هذول دير بالك عليهم في السبعة وستين صار الحرب لما دخل الجيش الإسرائيلي إحنا ما كنا هون طلعنا على عمان لما هربنا على عمان كان الألبوم في البيت هون رجعنا من عمان الدار ولا إشي رايح منها إلا الألبوم وشو زعل زعل مظبوط زعل إشي كتير يوم ما راح المستشفى بقول له أنا بدنا نجيب سيارة تطلع من البيت على المستشفى قال لا أنا بدي أمشي وأطلع في الباص قال لي بجوز أنا ما أرجعش خلص في البستان وقف قال لأمي ديري بالك على البستان قلت له طيب ليش؟ قال خلص أنا مش راح أرجع The negatives have been kept hidden since the photographer's death. 
Why has his son decided to show these photos now? هذه الأرض اللي إحنا فيها كان فيها أكثر من مئة شجرة زيتون. لما أجوا سوا الصور خلعوهم كلياتهم. خلعوا كل الزيتون والزيتون هذا الروماني يعني أكثر من أربعمائة سنة خمسمائة سنة عمره. وفي الآخر خلعوه كلياته وأخذوه. أخذوه حتى سرقوه سركة هم. أخذوه وسرقوه. هذه الأرض كانت زي الجنة. هلا هيا شوف صحراء. Zaki tells his neighbor about his father's photographs. في البوم صور وبعدين يا سيدي العزيز في ورقة كل صورة إلها نمرة والورقة مكتوب نمرة عشرة المحل فلاني وشرح عن الصورة دليل يعني للصورة في السبعة وستين الجيش الإسرائيلي أجو انسرك من الضرب فقط الألبوم What has happened to the rest of the Palestinian photographs? In 1976, the mayor of Jerusalem invited John to come back and find some of the Jewish survivors and photograph them 30 years after. Phillips managed to find and take photos of many of them. A will to survive, Phillips called his photo exhibition. According to him, the images tell the story of the Jerusalem Jews from defeat and evacuation to rebirth and renewal. This is the star of the show, right? This is him. Yes, yes John Phillips. Yes. Let's get a little background on yourself first. These pictures were taken by you. In I took them. I took them in 1948. But how I was covering a war, and it's very strange. Sorry, because for about 27 years I fought a lot of things which had happened hadn't. For instance. One of the most dramatic pictures of a dead man with a mask, a veil over his face. I found him again. I also found a man who found him in a morgue. I thought he was dead and he was tapping. And they got him out and the doctor pulled out his he tongue with force. He's still alive. You photographed him? I photographed as, as, as him, like but doc, <laughs> I thought it was a corpse. And the nurse said, no, I know him. This is, uh, see, see what his photography said, does? It <laughs> <yeah. laughs> makes dead men alive again yeah. in the Holy Land, yeah, just like in the Bible. Yeah, <laughs> Let's take a look yeah. at some of the pictures. So this is, this is Abdullah Tell. At the end of a battle, they're about to go into the new city, the old city, and this is a this moment. Is an, an Arab soldier this is there. the Arab command. What's what's in the back? This of the is building? the famous Mosque of Omar. Okay. In 1948. Hear a little bit about his uh, funny. Um, he had a very particular kind of accent, John, and nobody could quite figure out where he was from from the way uh, he spoke. John Phillips, a foreign correspondent from distant shores, took photos which were appropriated by the Israelis but they tell only one side of the story. Yeah. I was particularly shocked by those pictures of the looting. So down here you've got uh, an Arab leading his women behind him. This was looted from a synagogue. It, these are really boxes of Torah straw. Were they ever returned, you know? The... These things weren't found for all were I never know. found after... Not that we know. They were probably... You know, Andrea, used... as for the looting, there is a Palestinian article which criticizes John and Will to Survive it was published right after the exhibition. You're kidding me. Where they say about the photos that they serve the Zionist American propaganda. Probably, of, well, of course. I mean, what else, what else could it be? John is accused of serving the Zionist story, completely ignoring the Palestinian side. The accompanying text is an insipid afterthought to what must be Philip's views of the early days of the 48 war. Scenes of a Muslim family allegedly plundering squirrels from the Old Quarter synagogue. That is the interpretation from the text. <laughs> they were, uh, who knows what could they, they could have been doing carrying uh, scrolls on their heads. John would have so loved to have read this. Because he would have laughed. So, you know, I mean, 
I mean, he certainly never liked, you know, pontificators and, you know, self-important people on any side, you know? So, I mean, to, to have read this, he would have he just, I mean, he would have had a good laugh. He would have been really mad. It's like, you know, I can't believe it. Then, I mean, he, you know, he, he, he probably would have framed this, I, I would say, and put it up on the wall. This drawing, it was done by my son, who was all of 11 years old. He did it immediately after I had taken him to see, for the first time, Hill 24 doesn't answer. He apparently came home, spent all night doing it, and when I woke in the morning, it was on my bed. In his Tel Aviv home, Jack Padua goes over press clippings of Hill 24 doesn't answer which represented Israel at the Cannes Film Festival in 1955. In the Hollywood Reporter, Hill 24 doesn't answer a fine, sensitive picture. I left the theatre with the feeling that the Jews were succeeding in the world today at a time when most other patriotisms were failing because they have a patriotism and love of their homeland that has survived 2,000 years of adversity. A historical document. The original budget for the film, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, was over 650,000 sterling. This was in 1953, my friend, when a pound note was a, a pound note. In the event, the film cost exactly three times as much. How do you make a small fortune in Israel? You come with a big one. How original. The small one, the big one went and the small one. But I'm still here and all the people who screwed me Oh yeah, I'm see the road to Kindelach. Wow. But I had a lot of fun. This is not how any of us imagined we were going to land up. But who knows? The story is not finished yet. <laughs> Gentlemen, Hill 24 has been claimed for Israel. Zaki. I found in the Israeli military archive near Tel Aviv a file which states that they have photos from Jerusalem in 1948. They filed it under Arab sources. Well, I think that's my father, father uh, pictures, because uh, he's the only one who took these pictures first. Second, uh, he's just the only one, nobody else. It's mean, uh, these, it's uh, the one which from the house. If we find them, you are willing to come and see them? To oh, come and see it? Yes, yes, really. And I wish to, to copy the, the writing and in this case make it easier for me to see the numbers and the pictures, the number, because each, I still I have the numbers. Each negative, there is number on it. Still, I don't throw the envelopes from my father's time. على هذا 
هذا المعبر اللي هو ممنوع اهل الطفة يمروا فيه وبدنا نلف لفة كبيرة حوالي ثلاثة كيلو متر عشان نحمل علي لانه راح على المعبر الثاني اللي مخصص لاهل الضفة هذا هو التشيك بوينت للويست بانك هي هذا علي ايوه اهلا وسهلا شو شعورك لما تدخل وزارة الدفاع؟ ايه بس انت ما شعوري طبيعي ولكن بتأمل ان الاقي اللي اللي, اللي احنا رايحين مشان بس السؤال يا ربي ان شفنا ان لقيناه بعطونا اياه ولا لا؟ هذا كمان حاجز اللي بيروح على مطار او على تل ابيب صدقني اني انا مبسوط اللي رانا انا بدي اطلع بدي اطلع سكت زكت البيت زكت المستشفى بدي اطلع لان اللي بشوفه الصبح بشوفه المغرب فيش شيء جديد فيعني هاي السبب وافقت اني اطلع اليوم بدي اطلع شو الابا؟ هويتك شرها My name is Zaki. Hello. Hello. Welcome. My name is Shirley. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to our archive. Thank you very much. This might be the album which we are looking for. Albumé tatsilumi mekorot arviim. Hina nu mevakshim rashut laatik tatsilumi mitoch albumé tatsilumi manal mitkufat melchemet atzmaut. Vesab et tamani arviim. ووصلن إلهم سنة السبعة وسبعين هون وعندهم هم ألبوم وصفتينه وصفتينه طب سبعة وسبعين ثلاثين سنة وين كان في يعني بطريق واحد شبين بشبه شبين بشبه where it was thirty years الألبومين هلا متوادين بسفر ملاي شل الأرخيون يروشلايم ألبومي عربيم אני אראה לכם עכשיו את האלבומים המקוריים. טוב, אני אסור בשביל כולם אם זה תקון תסוי עשיר, אם זה תתערף על איזה שמיעה. בבקשה. هذه واحدة تعرف لنا هذه الصور عادية ما بتقدر تعرف هذه واحدة هم بسوا صورة عن صورة ماشي طيب هات كمان شوف هذه هذه واحدة هذه واحدة غير في عندنا 
أنا فيش أنا بدي شو؟ أنا مش متأكد منها شايف هذا عنا هذا عنا هذا هذا باب العمود هذا وهذه تصوير لها هذا تصوير سيدي اه عنا مثلها اه كله كله نفس طريقة سيدي علي سارور صورني علي سارور سي فاضرني ما يفاضرني اسم ابوي هيو علي سارور اه علي سارور يا واثنين ستي اس فروم ذا البوم توك اوت بس ذا البوم اتسيلف ا بلاك وان بلاك البوم نوت ذس هذا هم حطوا الالبوم هذه مشكلة ذا ميسنج بيكتشرز وات ات از وي بوت اسايد اكوردنج تو اور لو فوتوز اوف ديد بيبل We put them aside. We need special permission to to see them. Oh. But from this album? We're talking about uh, 10 or 12 pictures. From this album, yes. Mm-hmm. Like you mean like uh, Moshe Dayan or no, no, no. the pictures? Of oh, dead. Ah, okay, sorry. The picture of the death of the Ah, I don't know. Death people, many pictures here. No, no, no. Now, if any body, newspaper or any person want to make a book, to ask to give them a picture, you do or we not allowed? We shall ask your permission. My permission. Yes, if we have a, a stamp, yes, we ask I permission. Hmm. This case will give you uh, maybe That's some money. Right. Yeah. I will help the car. If you need anything, call Ali. Your son. Yes. Hala second, hala second. Yes. 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 هي هان يعني ما حداش غريب سرق John Phillips appears in one of Ariza Aurora's photos. The two photographers stand face to face, lens to lens. One wall, two images. When photographs are looted, fiction takes over reality, but they never go away. The ruins and the memories. Yeah. تعالوا طلب عليكم يلا تعالوا تطلعوا من هان ادخلوا ادخلوا ابعد يا ابعد اطلع يا سيدي روح هانا يا اولاد سيد ابوكم الولد هنا هذه عيلة زعرور كانوا ساكنينها كان بيحكي أنا عمري أنا عمري أربعة سنين أربعة سنين أكل ثلاثة أنت 